Access Module 2 Building Tables and Relationships Visual Workshop. So you'll open up 2-5 and you'll also open up four Excel spreadsheets and save them in your um, folder for re um, retrieving them later on. So the first thing we want to do is actually open, we have two tables that are here, departments and professors, and we want to in import the Excel worksheets into access as tables. So make sure you have them saved in a location where you can retrieve them. Click external data drive, choose new data source from file, and we'll go to Excel. From Excel, click browse, and the first one will be classes, and click open. And then import the source that is fine, so OK. And the next one is OK. Most of the defaults you'll keep the same next. Make sure that they all have a check mark for first row contains column headings, and then next, and next. And the only thing next you have to make sure is the primary key for this one is class number. Good. Next. Finish. And close. New data source from file, Excel, browse. The next one is enrollments, and open. OK. Make sure next, that's fine. First row has a check mark. Next, next. For the primary key, this one should be enrollment ID. Good, next, finish, close. There's no need to save the import. New data source, Excel, browse. This one is sections, open, okay. And that's fine. First row is checked off, okay. Primary key for this one is section number. Perfect. Next. Finish. No need to save the import steps. Close. And the last one from Excel is students. Okay. Next. Oh, make sure there's a check mark there. Next. Next. The um, primary key for this should be student ID and click next and finish. So we went from two to six tables and now we'll create a relationship connecting all six of the tables so choose data tools database tools relationships and there's all the tables that you have and if you need to make any of them wider you may so the first connection is going to be with departments and professors and it's department ID with department so hold with the left mouse and drag to department and let go make sure they are all one to many enforce referential integrity and create. The next one is uh, professor ID and that goes with section and they should match referential create and this one will be class number with class number so hold and drag and enforce create and the next one is section number and section number they match click and create and the last one is student ID to student ID check create and then click Save and close thank you